Chromium-6 is a heavy metal and a carcinogen. It's rarely found in nature. Instead, it's created by various industrial processes. There are reports that chromium-6 is in the drinking water of hundreds of millions of Americans. However, health authorities don't know exactly what level of chromium-6 might pose health problems. They do know that when they put chromium in the drinking water of rats and mice, that that level of chromium caused cancer. Scientists who study chromium-6 say they're concerned about even very low levels of exposure to chromium-6 when it's a child or an infant or a developing fetus. Painkillers, blood thinners, and chemotherapy drugs are just some of the substances that are found in your drinking water. There's new information that some drugs are ending up in our water at levels never seen before. CBC's Kelly Crow has more on that. There's something happening to the rainbow darter, a tiny fish that lives in the rivers of southern Ontario. If they're downstream from a sewage treatment plant, the male fish turn into females. If you expose them to wastewater, they will feminize. They will have eggs in the testes. What's causing the males to develop eggs? Human hormones, residue from prescription drugs that are flushed into the river. Using new highly sensitive equipment, scientists are finding an increasing variety of prescription drugs in the waterways. Painkillers, blood thinners, chemotherapy agents, hormones, antibiotics. If we swallow it, scientists can find it in the water. Some of the drug comes in us and through us and out of us totally unchanged. So we actually have active drugs going into the waterway through our urine or feces. Last month, a study of First Nations communities found levels of three prescription drugs in one southern Ontario river that were the highest in North America. And an unpublished Health Canada survey of tap water across the country found traces of prescription drugs in drinking water. Scientists still don't know if that combination of drugs in water poses a human health risk. That research has not been done. The World Health Organization calls it a knowledge gap. In Canada, there are no national standards for pharmaceuticals in drinking water, but environment officials are working on a water quality guideline for carbamazepine, an anti-epileptic drug that shows up almost everywhere. tonight about the safety of America's water supply in the first nationwide investigation of its kind the Associated Press found that at least 41 million of us are drinking water that contains traces of prescription drugs and now many are wondering is our water safe here's Nancy Cordes the Associated Press investigation reveals that nearly every drinking water supply in the country that's been tested for pharmaceuticals tested positive 24 major metropolitan areas from coast to coast. What turned up? Trace amounts of everything from sex hormones to drugs for livestock, anti-seizure medications, prescription painkillers, even the antidepressant ingredient in Prozac. How many water suppliers that you spoke to actually filter out pharmaceuticals? Virtually no water supplier we talked to will claim or can claim to entirely filter out pharmaceuticals because the treatment systems aren't designed to filter out pharmaceuticals. In Philadelphia, for example, scientists detected 63 different pharmaceuticals in the untreated watershed and 56 in the drinking water. That said, I did a story about four years ago in which we found a river in Colorado, and now we know there are many rivers, in which the fish were turning from male to female. And the reason was because there was too much estrogen in the water. The, the natural female hormone was literally turning male fish into female fish, and the thinking was that this is a canary in a coal mine. So now the question is, what's the impact on human? If the risks are unclear, so are the solutions. Home filters aren't designed to remove all drugs, and bottled water often comes from the very same source as tap water. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, New York. 
The water crisis in Flint, Michigan will arguably be remembered as one of the most important stories of 2016. Officials say as many as 12,000 children in the city may experience a range of serious health problems after being exposed to drinking water with high levels of lead. The far bigger problem is that thousands of U.S. neighborhoods reportedly have higher lead poisoning levels than Flint. For more details, we've crossed live to RT's Marina Portnaya. Uh, Marina, this is all coming from a Reuters report. They examined lead results testing uh, results across the United States and basically found that Flint, Michigan isn't even the worst of it. Uh, what kind of chronic problem are we talking about here? Well, Anya, we're talking about a significant problem that demands much more attention than it's getting. A Reuters investigation found nearly 3,000 U.S. areas with lead poisoning rates at least two times higher than the levels found in Flint, Mich Michigan. According to Reuters, more than 1,100 U.S. communities examined had a rate of elevated blood tests at least four times higher than Flint. The U.S. neighborhoods with poisonous lead levels stretch from coast to coast. Is bottled water safer than tap water? Do you argue that it is? I it's no. better? I, I wouldn't argue it's safer or not safer. Even Dr. Stephen Edberg, the person the Bottled Water Association told us to talk to, agree. Bottled water is no better for you. The labels on the bottles do suggest they're special. Some show mountains or polar bears. But many of the names are wondrously misleading. You have to look at the fine print to find out that Everest water is not from Mount Everest, it's from here. Corpus Christi, Texas. Glacier clear water is not from a glacier. Its source is tap water from Greenville, Tennessee. Couldn't find any glaciers around here. Big selling Dasani, Aquafina, and 25% of all bottled water sold is just reprocessed tap water from cities around the country. One of Aquafina's sources is the Detroit River. In a statement on Friday, PepsiCo said, quote, if this helps clarify the fact that water originates from public sources, then it's a reasonable thing to do. Coca-Cola's Dasani does the same thing, purifies and bottles public drinking water. We are now exposing an underbelly truth that is a big percentage of bottled water in this country is tap water. Doctor, can you talk about bottled water a little bit? Is that any safer or how do we know? We've gone through and measured a bunch of waters and the uh, Whole Foods, just about the same as tap water in terms of fluoride. Uh, how about Trader Joe's? Yep, same as tap water. Well, how about Arrowhead? Same as tap water. So might as well just take a hose and fill up the thing, put a lid on it, and sell mm -hmm. it. What do you think? So we got terrible labels, and we've got companies that are willing to take advantage of that. You know, nice, clean-looking label, and mm -hmm. basically it's junk water. How about the filters that you can buy at home, the filters that come in refrigerators, um, that you can put on your faucet, the ones you can put pictures in the refrigerators, all sorts of filters that you can buy. Do those do anything in terms of uh, taking things like um, fluoride out? No. The, the, those filters are predominantly made up of um, uh, carbon, mm -hmm. and carbon will remove some of your tihalmethanes and uh, make your water taste better, but they don't remove any of the fluoride. Some people think you can get it out by boiling it. It actually makes it worse. The fluoride stays in the pot, so if you start it out and put two quarts of water in to make a bowl, you know, a bowl of soup and you boil it down to one quart, twice as much fluoride in the water that's left in the bowl. The new water ionizer helps remove pollutants effectively. This produces clean, mineralized water with the most difficult contaminants reduced. And we have documented our results. As water ionizers have spread globally, so has demand for the ultimate ionizer filter, capable of advanced contaminant removal while retaining the beneficial alkalizing minerals. Standard treated and untreated tap water still contains urban, agricultural, industrial runoffs, pharmaceuticals, fluorides, and cleaning byproducts from the actual water treatment. You should be asking what type of filter you have in your ionizer. As a company, we decided to dramatically advance the performance of water ionizer filtration. And the result? Literally creating the cleanest and healthiest water possible. Because you deserve it. 
The reason this technology came about was we saw a great opportunity to take everything that our ionizers do and make it even cleaner and healthier for you. Toxins and chemical pollutants destroy our cells. Ionized alkaline water rebuilds our cells. But if we consume ionized water that is not clean of chemical pollutants, we're right back to where we started. The cleanest alkaline ionized water possible with most harmful contaminants rendered scientifically non-detectable. We have our filtration performance tested at independent certified labs, and I'll never forget the first set of lab reports that came back. I was absolutely in awe at the levels of contamination that were removed, and I mean all across the board. Your VOCs, your organic compounds, your chemicals, your disinfectants, your heavy metals, yet everything beneficial such as the calcium, magnesium, potassium remained intact. I was surprised by such a simple device that it could deliver the type of results that it did. Through our supercharged media, trapping contaminants across the board while leaving the beneficial alkalizing minerals intact. Imagine the cleanest and healthiest water. That's the next generation. We took the opportunity to improve filtration, to give you the opportunity to take back your tap. You can now have the cleanest and healthiest water possible.